Hey, what's going on YouTube? Adam C here. So you can see it's like Christmas morning for a fish keeper. Three boxes of fish. And you might say, where the heck are you going to put three more boxes of fish at? Because your two tanks here already have a heck of a lot of fish in them. And you'd be correct. But let's just say maybe I'm working on another project for a different day. I'll show you. So anyway, uh, let's see what we got here. I, I cracked the boxes open just so you don't have to watch me cut them open. Um, but I did not look at the fish yet. So anyway, uh, I wear these from Dave, which I have quite often. Always happy with the fish I get from him. So let's check them out. And one of these boxes is a big eight to nine inch male. So we'll save that box for last. Okay. First box. Have three Malawi trout females. They're about seven inches, good size. They are pretty much breeding size already. And you can see I have a, uh, a male in there ready to roll for them. And again, this will be a video for a different day, but obviously I've got some more breeding groups happening. And these should just be two more Malawi trouts. Oh man, I'm, I had to lower my water levels because I'm gonna have a lot of bags sitting in here. I don't want it to overflow. And the last female. Okay, on to box number two. I have a group of four wild caught Bucochroma serotosi yellow, ranging from four to five and a half inches. And obviously, they will not be in any of these tanks either. This should just be the remaining three, two. Number three. And number four, and that's uh, the biggest one, probably five and a half inches. Two down, one to go. And this last one is the one that I'm most excited, excited about for today. You know, those other ones are going to be cool in the future when I can get them to breed. But this one is exciting for today. Number one, this is a Tyrannochromus nigraventor female. Um, so obviously I got something going with uh, them as well. Oh, I take that back. This is my uh, Tyrannochrom Tyrannochromus maculiceps wild caught male. It's about five inches. So I just gave away what the second one was going to be. It's a female Tyrannochromus nigraventor. And the last one is the big one that I'm quite excited about. That is an enormous bag for one fish. This is a 8 to 9 inch wild caught Tyrannochromus macrostoma and he looks awesome. I wasn't planning to order him but uh, he arrived at Dave's a couple days before my order was supposed to go out so I couldn't resist I'd already paid for shipping but heck yeah let's add one of these guys to it and he's huge and he, he may eat some of my smaller fish in here 
Eh, I hope not, but, you know, that's the game of African cichlids, so. Ah, what a cool fish. So anyway, you can see I've got a lot of stuff going on here, and these two tanks are not going to be able to accommodate all of these fish. So, um, for the time being, all the fish in this 125, they're going to go in here just as a holding period until I get my project elsewhere going on, and then they'll get moved. And those guys in there are going to be, you know, in the show tank. Um, I do have some plans for that Niger Venter female with one of the Niger Venter males, but that's going to be a little bit down the road. I've had females in here before, and they've done fine. Um, you know, the males don't, for, they don't seem to bother them too bad as, as kind of people say they do. And that's just been my experience. You know, that can change for different people. But in the event that she is harassed, I do have a spot to put her until um, I get that set up going. So you obviously want to stay tuned. Because in the coming weeks, um, you're going to see more than this, than just these two tanks. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. And once I get all these fish in the tank, I'll let them settle in for a day or two, and I'll do an update on them. Thanks for watching. See you next time.